Hey guys, sorry I haven't gotten a proper uh, rant in quite a while. Uh, I've been really busy um, with my time. I've been uh, doing a little P90X. I mean, I know there's nothing there, but it, you should have seen it a month ago. <laughs> it was like... But yeah, so that's been good. 31 days in. Feeling good about that. Uh, normally every year I do a written blog, which is sort of like a poker goals for the year. I did one last year, and I plan on doing that again, so look for that written blog. I'm, I'm headed to Bahamas in the morning, and I uh, plan on having that done, maybe on the flight or something like that. So it'll be a written blog in addition to this. I'm going to try to keep this short. I've got 985 things I'd like to share with you, but we can't do all that, so we're going to just keep it simple. My number one poker goal is a little different this year than it has been in the past, and uh, the number one goal uh, doesn't have anything to do with me playing, really. It's... Um, <clears throat> really to do everything I can to help the poker community uh, be shed in a much better light than it was in 2012 and 11, and uh, to do everything I can to just help out the community from that perspective, but perspective, and, um, and also the people in it, you know? Um, you have easy, there's easy choices in poker. Like, you, I could surround myself with all the good people and the ones that are doing things right, um, Boy, I know this is going to sound really crazy. I feel like part of my calling is to reach out to those that aren't on the right path and um, try to help them see the right path. And I think that benefits us all. So there's going to be, you know, there's, we have some outcasts in our community. Uh, obviously some that I've helped to create, you know. Um, and I don't know that I'll be uh, reaching out to Howard Letter anytime soon. But um, there's others, you know, others who have made mistakes. Um, and, you know, the bottom line is you have to look at, everyone has good in them, but everyone often loses track of what they um, originally planned on doing in our industry and sometimes, you know, just get completely off track. I want to help people get back on track if I can. I know that, let's say there's 10 people, let's say there's 10 shady people in our industry. There's no chance I'm going to be able to help all 10 see the light. But if I can help three, two, one even, it's worth it to me. So that's one of the things I'm going to do in 2013. Kind of reach out to those that, um, you know, may have done some things that they're not proud of uh, and want to, you know, clean up their act, if you will. I did want to give a shout out to a young kid named Nick Davila. He, um, he, he tried to create a uh, petition to have Howard Letter barred from the ARIA. And um, aside from the fact... Okay, when you look at that on the surface, I actually don't think that they should. I think it's a slippery slope, and I agree with a lot of the pros who think, like, there's a lot of people who have done wrong, and, you know, what if everyone decides, well, you know what, Phil Ivey's way too good, so we're just going to get him barred, you know, um, and if we all get a petition together, maybe we'll say, well, yes, we're going get, to get rid of him. Why? Because he's too good. And then we can't really go down that slippery slope. But I want to commend somebody for doing something that they feel is right. He was, you know, he was compelled to, to create this petition. He did it. So instead of just complaining and whining on forums about this or that, he actually did something proactive about it. Again, I disagree with, you know, I wouldn't have actually signed the petition myself, surprisingly. I mean, you guys would all think that I'd be ready to throw pitchforks. But no, in this case, I actually was on the other side of that. But I want to commend him for, um, you know, believing in something and going forward with it. So, <laughs> bravo, Nick. Two last things I want to talk about, and the first one is giving. Now, when you think of the phrase giving, you think what I think or what most people think is like give some people some money, you know, charitable efforts. But I've learned over the last few months that there's more to the idea of giving than money, especially for someone like me, because it's much easier for me to say, you know, write a check and be like, okay, yeah, here, you know, help the kids or whatever. But being involved in something big or more importantly, giving of your time, you know, there's people around you who may need you, whether it's your brother, whether it's your mom, whether it's your son, your daughter. Uh, giving of your time is a much more precious gift, and that's something we can all give. Because I've heard people in the forum say, oh, you know, easy for you to say, you know, give to all these people and be humanitarian and blah, 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 but I don't, you know, I don't have time. I work and all those things. So, yes, obviously there's a sliding scale. Someone like Bill Gates, he can afford to spend a lot of time giving, but everyone um, can give on a level that is comfortable for them. But, but the most important thing about giving is, is that, I don't believe there's such thing as a selfless act. There really isn't. Like, when was the last time you gave somebody something or gave somebody time and you felt like crap about it, right? So essentially, when you give to somebody, it makes you feel better, right? So, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, and I encourage everybody to do that, whether it's time, money, supporting something that they believe in. Um, 2013, why don't you figure out what that is, what you believe in, or what you haven't been giving to people around you, 
and you know, give and you'll see. You're just gonna feel all those warm, fuzzy feelings in there. You know, it's, it's kind of nice. The last thing I wanted to talk about, and I could spend 45 minutes on this, is um, you cannot underestimate how important your social life or how things are going on in your regular life, regular life uh, affect the way you play poker. For me, I've written blogs about it in the past. I, I wrote a blog, you know, the woman who made me, the woman who broke me, always, the, you know, there's this association with the woman, the woman who did this, the woman who did that. Um, and in a lot of ways, I've allowed, I've given over my power to another person to help to decide whether I'm happy, sad, whether I'm focused, whether I'm present, or whether I'm distracted. Um, so one of the things I'm committed to in 2013 and feel really good about is um, that's not going to be an issue. Not, not that I'm flipping like a lot of people think. I'm not. It's amazing. I, I actually honestly get a kick out of the gay rumors because I think they're kind of funny. Um, and you know, gay people dress better. You know, they, they seem to work out more. Um, they have chihuahuas, ear... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, kidding. Um, <laughs> why did I even go there? But, uh, but yeah, so... I had, uh, personally, I went through, you know, I went through a divorce, um, and, uh, but I, I tell you this, uh, we're, we're great friends, me and my ex-wife, she's a really, really great person, and I was most, uh, what do you call it, at peace while I was, eat, while, I, while I was with her, because she was a very, very positive influence on me in a lot of ways. Um, you know, I actually used the Jack Nicholson phrase from uh, As It Good As It Gets when he says, you make me want to be a better man. And she really did. And in a lot of ways, I, I did become a better man. You know, I, when, when it came to poker, I was more focused. I didn't go out drinking the night before. A lot of the rules that made me successful in 2004 absolutely owed to her because she was a, like a stabling force. Um, what I've learned to do is, uh, you know, um, not depend on someone else to have that kind of uh, ability to, like, check myself. So, yeah, I guess the whole point of this is that... Um, if you're not doing as well in poker as you think you should be, um, you know, there's likely a connection, very possibly. I mean, obviously you could just be running bad. Your all NEV charts are all like ridiculous, but there's, you know, there's potentially something else to look at and that's where you are in um, your regular life, whether it's your relationships with your family or with a girl or with whatever else. And um, it's worth looking at that before you decide that, you know, you're just the unluckiest person in the world. You know, there's possible there's a possibility you could do more. There's maybe a play that you missed because you weren't paying attention because you were thinking about something you shouldn't be thinking about. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of rambling now, and uh, I'm not really going to edit this thing, so it's going to come off very bleh, but whatever, you know. Um, I just wanted to check in real quick, and, uh, yeah, that's all I got for you for now. I mean, there's more, like I said, but I'm going to leave you with this. And I'm going to get some sleep because... I'm off to Bahamas in the morning. So happy new year, everybody. Good luck in 2013. If you're at my table, you gonna have some problems. Cause I'm ready to with these new like mini guns. <laughs> look, look, it does go up. That's, look, oh wow, yeah, not so bad. It's coming, it's coming. See you guys.